Static electricity occurs due to friction when two materials that are both insulators rub against each other. Electrons, which are negatively charged, get transferred from one material to the other. One material gains electrons and becomes negative. The other material, which has lost electrons, becomes positively charged. Things don't become positive by gaining protons, only by losing electrons. If you have two objects with opposite charges, they'll exert an electrostatic force on each other and attract each other. If you have two objects with the same charge, either both positive or both negative, they also experience a force, but they will repel each other. Static is a non-contact force, so the objects don't have to be touching each other to be attracted or repelled. If your socks or shoes are made of an insulating material and you walk along another insulating material, such as carpet, electrons can be transferred from your socks to the carpet. Because you've lost electrons, you become positively charged. On the other hand, if electrons were transferred from the carpet to you, you would become negatively charged. Both ways are possible, and it depends what the two insulating materials are. Static electricity can produce sparks that give you an electric shock. Let's say you become negatively charged by picking up electrons from the carpet, and then you try to open a door. The metal door handle is neutral, it's not positive or negative. But compared to you, if you're negatively charged, then the neutral door handle is relatively more positively charged than you are. This means there's a potential difference between you and the door handle. Electrons flow easily in the metal door handle because it's a conductor, so when you touch it, electrons will jump from your hand to the more positively charged door handle. This movement of electrons causes a current to flow, giving you a static shock. This can also happen if you become positively charged, because electrons will jump from the door handle, which is relatively more negative than you, to your hand. Electrons always move from a negatively charged object to a positively charged object. Static shocks can be annoying, but sparks can also be really dangerous in certain situations. If there are flammable substances around, like when someone is refueling an aeroplane, a spark could cause an explosion. And if negative charge builds up inside clouds, it can jump to the more positive ground below, creating lightning. Here are some practice questions for you to try. Pause the video and give them a go. Static electricity can be generated when there is friction as two insulating materials rub together. Static charge builds up when electrons are transferred from one material to another. The material that gains electrons becomes negatively charged, while the material that loses electrons becomes positively charged. If the two rods repel each other, that must mean they have the same charge, so if rod A is positive, then rod B must be positive too. You can get a static shock when you touch a metal door handle because charge builds up on you, either positive or negative, when electrons transfer between you and the ground. That creates a potential difference between you and the door handle, so electrons will jump from the negative object to the positive object, causing a current to flow.